Hello, in tonight's Omar Vision tutorial, we're going to do a something very, very simple. We're going to have a head, and when I press play, we're going to be able to move the head left and right with the mouse, basically by clicking and dragging with the mouse. So if I click and drag, I can look around like this with the head, or I could look up and down like this. And this is a nice way to just be able to move around any 3D object in my game. So um, to do this, it wasn't exactly as I expected it in the beginning, because first things first is you usually would try to say, um, I use the rotate around command, and I have the camera rotate around on the X and rotate around the Y, but, uh, you know, anybody who's tried that knows that the axes start slipping off place, so how do I get it to stay in place? Well, I have a script here that I just kind of made over here. I attach it to an empty game object, and um, in the scene I have the head, okay, that's one thing, and then I have just an empty game object, which is going to take the camera and the target to rotate around, okay, and in this script, it's really simple. Um, kudos to Emma Pratt's. I saw her YouTube video, and that really helped me out. Um, so here's the look control script that's on the look controller. Uh, first, I have a little helper here. It's the buttons for the mouse, 0, 1, and 2. This is left, right, and middle button. And then the camera object and the target object, so you could set them in the inspector. And I just privately store the, pre the previous position of the camera and the cam distance. Um, so in the update function, uh, first I have to start the drag, so I'll get when the mouse button is pressed down, and since this is get mouse button down, that happens one time, and that is true, and when I press the mouse button down, I'm going to capture where on the screen did I actually click the mouse down, and then when I'm holding the mouse down, I will do this part here as the mouse button continues to be pressed down, um, this is when I'll start rotating, alright, so the mouse could move um, either left and right or up and down on your desk. So first things first, uh, the camera is what is going to rotate around the target. So over here, wherever I had my camera distance from in the scene, which here the camera is at a distance of like on the Z it's minus 6. So I kind of just store when you click where the camera is, the difference, the distance from the target. Um, so that first we have to find out the direction we're moving the mouse. All right here, the direction you're moving the mouse is wherever you first pressed it to wherever the mouse is now. So if I click it here and I move the mouse this way, I'm rotating this way. If I click here and move, you know, it's the other way. So now I know which way the mouse is moving and how much it moved. So the um, first thing I do is I kind of put the camera back into uh, zero, but this actually, I should have it go back to the um, center of the target. So target.transform.position. It's going to go into the center of the target. Okay. And then from while well, it's in the center of the target, well, it's right there in the center of the target. The camera's going to rotate around. So um, this is the right vector. So that's this uh, red line right here. So that's rotating up and down. That happens on the x-axis to rotate up and down. So I, um, I, I rotate the camera to look up and down on, on that right. And then over here for the, um, the, the left and right, this is really the y-axis is coming out the top of the head. This is rotating left and right, so I rotate on the y-axis for that one. So um, when I rotate on the y-axis, the rotate function, it has a third parameter it could take. It's the space relative to. So for that, you just say space relative to the world. You know, so no matter which way the object's pointing, up is still up there. And this is the key to actually make it work, the space.world. So I have one axis. On the right axis, it's on the x-axis, it's rotating freely, and then on the... Um, the y-axis, it's rotating relative to the world. And then after the camera is kind of rotated the right direction in the center of the head, we just pull the camera back out from the center of the head, basically its original distance from the head. Okay? And just so, you know, we have the mouse clicks moving stuff around, now we store the new previous position of the mouse, which is where I let go where the mouse is, where I've dragged it to. Okay? So this is a code. I'll put it on my website. Let me just see if this works, because I did change something here. I changed it target transform position. So let me just make, uh, make sure I saved it. Yeah. And just run it one last time. Play. So it's still looking that way, and it looks up and down. And this is what my head is at 000. zero. But if I move the head away from 000, zero, zero like I move it up here somewhere, and back, you know, now it's not at the origin. Now if I press play, it still works. OK? Because the, the target, it just centers in on the target. So the reason I have the, um, the look controller taking a cam and a target 
is I guess if you had a scene and you know I click on this object and I start rotating around this object, then I click on another object and it'll start rotating around that one. So that's the benefit of me having the target being set instead of it always being at zero zero zero. And that's that. Good night. You made it to the end of the video. I'm so proud of you. This is my website. The main thing I want to show you is that for any of these videos that you've seen on YouTube, I have the tutorial section, which has the blue links for the projects and the orange links are the files. Also, you could go over here and play some of the games we made in the game camp.